MPEG-TS delivery over UDP is one of the core streaming technologies. However, end users need other protocols to play streams on their devices. In this tutorial, we'll show how you can convert MPEG-TS UDP streams into HLS, MPEG-RTMP, SLDP and other protocols with Nimble Streamer. We receive the stream from a source and just repackage it into multiple output playback protocols. We have installed two Nimble instances. The Edge instance will process the streams, while the Origin instance will be the source for MPEG-TS. The Origin has two outgoing streams. Those streams are mixed into a single output UDP MPEG-TS stream with two programs in it. That stream is being pushed to the Edge server via UDP at a particular port as unicast. You may also set up multicast UDP if needed. Now let's go to the Edge server settings. We define a new application which will handle the output settings. There we select the protocols which we want to generate as output. You may also enable any features you find useful. Then we go to the MPEG-TS in tab to define the input. Click on Add UDP Stream and enter the server's IP address and port. Enable Add Outgoing Stream checkbox and make sure you use the same output application name as you've just defined. And you can use any stream name you like. You'll see the output available in MPEG-TS Out tab, which means you can now use it for further processing. As we click on the stream, we can see that it has two programs in it. We need to select the particular video program to generate the output with that particular content. This is required for creating any playable output. You can either enter the program index or just select it from the list. By default, the first program is selected and you can change it in this UI. Besides choosing the program, you may use the raw source option. It allows sending data from the source intact with all content, metadata and PIDs. Read the description to find an article about this. The second output is created the same way. Only one output playback stream can be generated for one program. So each program in your UDP input needs to have a corresponding output as shown here. To create new streams from the same source, you can just copy it and change the PID. Don't forget to start the output after that. Once the data is synced, you can start the stream to make it available for output. Now let's check the resulting playback output streams. As soon as the sync up with Nimble instance is complete, you'll see the corresponding output. Here it is. We can now use sample players to watch both resulting streams using any of the protocols which we've chosen for this output application. Take a look at this video description to find out all related articles, pages and videos.